Right now we're here to talk about all the great things going on in this building and with UNH Manchester, and there are indeed a lot of good things to talk about. And that's important because, as um, all of you in this room know, uh, we've made a commitment as, an, as a university, as a university system, with our partners in the community college system to address what is a, just a, a, a yawning gap in New Hampshire between what the business community needs in terms of uh, STEM-educated young men and women and what we have so far been producing. Uh, there are all kinds of statistics flying around. One of the ones I always remember is we've got about a thousand uh, sh uh, a person shortage in the area of, of computer science. And if you look at un other engineering areas, the, uh, the gap gets even wider. And we are really committed to, to addressing that. UNH in particular, I think, has a special responsibility to address it because we're the major provider, as it is now, of STEM-educated folks in this state. And I think UNH Manchester, in particular, has a responsibility to help address that shortage, not least because of where this place is located, right in the middle of the high-tech corridor, corridor here in the Merrimack Valley, and because we've got just a great faculty and staff ready to go to begin to uh, address this challenge, and because we've got a dean who is ready to lead this charge in a way that uh, we've been waiting a long time to find somebody ready to lead this charge. So. I am confident that we are going to be able to, uh, to meet this challenge and uh, see New Hampshire take its rightful place in the global marketplace in the 21st century, thanks to the kind of work that we're laying the groundwork for here today. Um, so I want to uh, acknowledge a couple of folks in the room, some of whom are going to talk. Uh, Dean Kamen is here, who has been a great partner in this venture, and uh, of course, Dean... Thank you for prodding us all these years, Dean. I think you're finally beginning to see some of your vision come to fruition, and um, uh, we're really grateful for that. Jeremy Hitchcock, who's been just a great supporter of, of this initiative, the uh, BETC. We wouldn't be here today without your, with your, your support, Jeremy, and uh, we, Ollie wouldn't be here today without your support, too, so, so thank you for that. And, um, of course, we've got Dean Ali Rothmier, too, who has just been a, a spark plug in this whole effort, and it's been a, a pleasure, a, exhausting pleasure sometimes to keep up with him, but it's been a pleasure to work with him. So um, I want to turn this over now to 